Hey everyone, welcome to my Zora guide in which I'll be showing you all four phase pathways of Zora along with some tips and tricks along the way. First off are the stat recommendations. I personally recommend 85 plus range and mage to kill Zora efficiently, range being the skill in which you can more easily get away with a lower level. As for the gear, this is what I personally use and manage kills typically between 2 and 2.5 two and minutes. I bring a mage switch and a range switch, which is quite standard, along with a seer's ring and vengeance to decrease my kill time, which are both not entirely necessary. I bring monkfish because I am confident in my abilities and do not feel the need to waste sharks but when practicing, I would bring sharks. Zora starts off in the same way each time. So what you want to do is run to the northeastern corner, turn on Mystic Might, and attack Zora with Mage. You always want to attack the green phase with Mage, blue with range, and red also with Mage. After this green phase, it is able to go into four pathways, this one being one of the melee phases. This melee phase you should attack once, run to this corner, attack one more time, run back to the same corner, then if you have a trident you can manage two more attacks. After this, regardless of the melee phase, it will go into this mage phase. Switch to your range gear, you can manage three kills with a crossbow if using a blowpipe, I personally just stand in the corner. This can go e into two different range phases, this is the one to the western side which will not attack you so you need not prey range against it. It'll shoot out some green clouds and then snakelings, and then it will go to the mage phase to the south. Following this will be a melee phase in the middle. and then a mage phase to the south. If you are not as good at this or are needing food, and that is something that you are running out of constantly, you could have used chins for those two snicklings that just died and used long range to chin them across before the melee phase had died. Then it goes to a southern mage phase, so you want to run back around to the western side after this comes the jad phase. You know that when you start with the melee phase, um, after the first green phase, at the very beginning, you know that jad will always be on the western side and it will follow this southern mage phase, regardless of what your second green phase is. So for the western jad phase, it will always start with range and it will do five cycles. So for me, if I am managing slower kills, I personally count out five cycles, and upon the fifth mage attack, I run to the back to the northeastern corner. That way, when the cycle resets, you are in good position. The first three phases, if you start off with a second melee phase, will be the same. It is always that green first one, followed by a red, second one which you should always dodge and then the mage in which you should range and work your way over to the southern or western sides depending on what that next spawn is the part where this phase differs is in that this range phase to the south actually attacks you directly so you do want to turn on prey range it will attack you three times typically Sometimes I've seen it where it actually only attacks you once for some reason. And then it'll spew out a couple of snakelings. So put on your recoil. Always put on your recoil if there are snakelings out and able to attack you. And then it will spew out some green clouds and that will be followed by a central melee phase. Right about here, you want to preempti preemptively venge so that you can have a sooner venge for later phases. This is followed by a western mage phase after five attacks this one will be followed by a southern range phase in which you want to 
after these five attacks run all the way to the eastern side because it will immediately spew out green clouds all over the southern and western sides. If you are spare, if you need to save food a lot, what you could have done during that melee phase was use a long range chin across the, the U shape of this area to kill those snakelings so that when I ran around, I would not have been attacked. Um, as always, if there is a southern mage phase, when you have started with a second melee phase, that means that after this, there will be a western jad phase, which always starts with range. There will always be five cycles for jad, so I count them, starting with the second attack, because it's a full cycle. So that is two mage attacks. So right here, I am counting each one. Three and four. And then upon the fifth mage attack, I actually run over to the far side because this is when the cycle resets and it can go into one of the four cycles from here. Um, it actually does a melee phase first and then it goes back to that green one, but different from the beginning green phase, this one actually does attack you, so you do want to pray range. As always, attack this middle green phase with mage from the northeastern corner. And although not shown in this clip, I typically put on my serpentine helm and range prey before it despawns because this range phase to the east is the only phase that will attack you from the get-go when it pops up. After it attacks you a few times, it will spew out a few white blobs, which will be snakelings. So to prevent damage from those snakelings, I actually run through the clouds and run to the other side to this pillar, not running through that third cloud so that those snakelings, along with the snakelings that this melee phase is about to spawn, all four of them get stuck, which will save you a lot of food. After it spews out its clouds and its snakelings, it will attempt to attack you with melee dodge them as normal. However, on this corner, it is a little bit different. You do have to run a little bit further because of how the terrain is set up. Following this will be a an eastern, sorry, western mage phase. And you want to work your way over to the eastern side because there will be a southern range phase, which you obviously want to mage, followed by an eastern blue phase, mage phase. As always, you want to avenge for the blue phase because that is the only phase that will switch attacks on you unpredictably. Following this will be a central green phase in which you want to work your way over to the western side. However, you do not need to pray because it does not attack you directly. It will just be all clouds, which is why you want to work your way to the western side. After this, it will be another range phase, this time on the western side. But this one does attack you, so you do want to pray range. Following this will be a central blue phase, followed by an eastern jad phase. And this jad phase will start off with mage, five cycles, as normal. Once again, starting off at the northeastern corner, maging the green phase to the center. And however, this time it is going to start with a mage phase to the east. Mind you, if there is a range or mage phase to the east following this central phase, that means Jad will be on the eastern side following a central mage phase. Now, this phase you can take a lot of damage, so be careful. There are, what, four snakelings, and the fact that this mage phase is unpredictable and will range you, you safe up. Following this will be a southern range phase, which you want to mage. Work your way over to the western side. Now it's going to be an, a western mage phase. Here I save my venge for just a few moments so that I can wait until it attacks me before I venge. So that I time it so that when it ranges me, hopefully my venge will go off on Zora as opposed to one of the snakelings. However, there it did not range me. You wanna work your way back over to the eastern side, hiding right in this blank space 
because right there, it you do not need to dodge anything. Following this will be an eastern range phase that will attack you, so you do want to pray range, and then a southern also range phase, which will not attack you. So I take off my helm, and if I had my recoil on, I would put on my seer's ring. Now, if you look to the east or western side, there are three snakelings there. And you'll see it right there. One thing you can do, once again, is chin from across the horseshoe to kill all three of them, just using long range. This is a mage phase to the west. Following this will be a range phase to the center, and then a mage phase to the center, and then a jad phase on the eastern side. Always, if it is a jad on the east, it will start with mage, as opposed to the western jad phase, which starts with range, and then it'll, the cycle will essentially reset. And you'll be at the northeastern corner at this point, which is a good thing. I'm sorry if I missed anything, but those are all four phases. Best of luck on drops, and thank you for watching.